As dawn spreads over the Riverina, the road trains grinding up dust in the distance. Matt Herring is knee deep in paddy water. Binoculars trained across the swaying sheaths of green, looking for one of Australia's most endangered birds. I've been chasing these strange uh, birds for almost 20 years, but it's only in the last five or six years that I've looked in detail at the, uh, at the rice crops. The strange bird Matt is tracking is the bittern, also known as the bunyip bird, shy, secretive, and possessing a call that haunts the night bush. That soothing, booming sound that the males make during the breeding season has been linked to, uh, to the, the sound of the bunyip for uh, thousands of years. Roughly 2,000 are left in Australia and New Zealand, one of 20 birds the federal government has prioritised for species recovery support. And that's why Matt is standing in waterlogged boots, scanning the horizon, like a ship's captain looking for a sub's periscope. I love seeing that, uh, that head stick up in the crop and, uh, and find another one for the, uh, for the surveys. In the Riverina, there's uh, somewhere between 500 and 1,000 in the rice crops right now, and, uh, and they're breeding. And they're breeding because of a union between Matt and the rice growers of the region. It's a grassroots approach, and so it's very much the rice farmer's project, and, uh, and there's that sense of ownership and involvement. Deep in one bay, as each rice field is called, a careful track through thigh-high strands a month from harvest finds a bitter nest with bittersweet results. That egg's probably infertile and the chicks have already roamed from the nest and they're somewhere around here in this rice crop. But at regular intervals, beaky periscopes pierce the panicles, the plant's flowering head. Pleasing news for third generation grower Milton Hoisted. They're increasing in some of our crops in that we're tweaking the crop a little to accommodate the bird. People chat about it with a bit of pride, you know, you've had a bit of a win, you've got the birds, I haven't got the birds. Um, yeah, it's turning into a little bit of a competition actually. Our engagement with our farming community is just enormous and they want to do so much to help out. And then if we, we can actually have uh, Australasian bitterns breeding and recovering the population through the whole system at the same time, I don't know, it's not much better story than that. It's a lovely example of, of establishing a fulcrum between ecology and agriculture. It is, it is, and, and for me I see this uh, this is the future of, of nature conservation and, uh, and farming working together. Mike Dalton, Nine News.